Why do we have to tell the people what they need to hear? Why can't we just tell them what they want to hear? It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Huh. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you Hey, good uh, Thursday morning now. It is uh, November 12th. Hope you guys had a great Veterans Day yesterday. Uh, we had a great time in the building just kind of like reflecting and celebrating um, the uh, contribution that our veterans have given us uh, in, their, in their time here. Um, continuing with the theme of gratitude in the month of November. And so I have a quote from Zig Ziglar. Uh, Zig Ziglar is one of those motivational speaker guys, goes out, makes a lot of money telling people how to do things and inspiring them to greatness. But he has a great quote here about gratitude. Gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. So again, we've been talking about this, how it kind of uh, builds momentum. So how you set your mind and, and what you focus your mind on, that's what's going to come back to you. So have an attitude of gratitude, Look for ways to, to let people know how much you appreciate them. Um, speaking of that, here's something that's really cool that's going on in Westerville Central right now. Miss Zoller and Miss Tang have put a blue tree out in the uh, main hallway right outside the main office here, and they have little leaves cut out. And what we're asking folks to do is you're walking past there sometime during your you know, next day or two, um, pick a leaf and uh, write out something you're grateful for. And each leaf has a color, each, each, each color has a theme, um, and we're hoping to get that leaf, uh, get that tree full of leaves uh, before cohort B leaves. And we'll do the same thing next week for cohort A. So thank you, Ms. Tang. Thank you, Ms. Zoller. I am grateful for what you bring to the building every single day. You guys are awesome. We have a fantastic team in our counseling office, our, our school counselors, our social emotional uh, workers, uh, our secretaries, a fantastic team at Westerville Central. I am grateful for all that they do on a daily basis. And one other person I'm super grateful for is our school nurse, uh, Ms. Denise Stuckey Zander. Uh, she is working overtime every single day to make sure that we're able to go to school. So I am grateful to our school nurse, Ms. Denise. All right, so look, look for ways to be thankful, look for ways to give thanks, and uh, make that a goal for not just today, but for the remainder of the school year here, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, moving on to uh, our next Fast Five uh, candidate here, our person that we're featuring, uh, Brandon Richter, is featuring Mr. Long. Take it away, Brandon. I'm Richter, and I'm an 11th grader at Westville Central. I'm here to int introduce you to Mr. Long. He teaches AP Physics and regular physics, and his room is in the yellow slash red hallway. The orange hallway. Yeah. To have you uh, get to know Mr. Long better, I've got some deep and thought-provoking questions to ask him. Mr. Long, are you ready for your fast five? Yes. All right. If you had to go on a road trip with a fellow teacher at Westville Central High School, who would you take and why? Uh, Miss Christy, because I would be excited to see what she would blow up along the way. <laughs> nice answer. All right. Really deep one. Uno or Monopoly? Monopoly. Monopoly. Yep, let's ring some friendships. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what food would you like to eat every day for the rest of your life? Oh my gosh. This one's a lot harder than the other two. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go, I think Chinese food. Chinese food? Mm-hmm. That's, that's cool. All right. Which administrator slash teacher would you most like to see in a dunk tank at a carnival? Oh my. Um, you know, I kind of want to see Mr. I in a dunk tank because I kind of <laughs> feel like he's strong enough that, like, when the chair went out, he might just like put out his arms and just be like, "Not today." <laughs> Not I'd today. like to see that. I would. I would like. Just to like see hard deny. Yeah. All right. Final question. 
if you were not a teacher, what else would you be doing? Oh my. Um, I guess if I wasn't a teacher, you know, I may have honestly given uh, racing triathlons another go. That's not just great. see what's up. Well, thank you, Mr. Long, for joining us today on this Fast Five. Hey, thanks, Mr. Uh, Mr. Long, for participating in Fast Five, and great job, Brandon. Uh, bringing uh, that information too. As Mr. Long is a fascinating individual, uh, does a lot of really cool things. You got to get to know Mr. Long, okay? Um, now, speaking of other teachers doing great things in the building, as you walk the building, you're going to see a lot of things displayed. Uh, this caught my eye this morning. So, uh, Bob Ross, if you remember the great Bob Ross, we're going to have a little clip in here, just kind of reflect on the great Bob Ross here. Uh, but he was a, a person who was on PBS and you know, just shows you how to do painting landscapes. And he had this very soothing voice as he he talked about uh, you know just have a little thing here and a little thing I think I see a little uh, dog here and I think I feel a little uh, leaf here just kind of you know he, he had that soothing calming voice that just made it a lot of fun well Miss Kiko is putting on her inner or channeling her inner Bob Ross with her students and they put together a tribute to Bob Ross is in the showcase out there in the uh, in the uh, Commons and I'll tell you what it is a phenomenal job by our painting students once again we have such talented people in our building and if you get a chance make sure you stop by that showcase and check it out it's really cool thanks Miss Kiko for sharing uh, the talent of our students with everybody so uh, think about Bob Ross sometime today and it'll help you calm yourself all right if you're hungry, get your popcorn here, get your popcorn here. Time to get your popcorn. Our Westerville Central cheerleaders are doing a fundraiser. Uh, they've got a little online store you can visit and uh, buy a little bit of popcorn for the holiday season. Uh, for you guys that are looking for last minute gift ideas, uh, Mr. Parker in particular, because Mr. Parker is famous for doing last minute shopping. Hey, Mr. Parker, jump on there and buy some popcorn from your cheerleaders and take it home to your wife. She'll be very happy. It'll make your kids happy at home. Again, great for Thanksgiving, great for uh, the holiday season coming up as we start giving gifts to one another. When all those proceeds, uh, you know, there's a part of those proceeds that go to the Westerville Cheerleader Fund, uh, Westerville uh, Cheerleader Fundraiser there. So uh, jump on that popcorn uh, train and, and get it done. All right, let's finish on a serious note. Interims, our uh, midway point for the second grading period is, co is coming up next Wednesday. Uh, so we talked a lot about staying on point. And I know with the way we started the year, it was kind of up and down. Some folks had a rocky start. We're in the second quarter now. Uh, we're in a, hopefully in a better position in terms of the hybrid back and forth with remote. Uh, our folks in the WVA, hopefully you're in a good, a good place there with your work at home. Next Wednesday kind of gives us a little checkpoint on where we are for the second quarter and uh, make sure you're on point and get all your work turned in. All right, make sure you're talking to your teachers. Our teachers, you need to communicate with our, our teachers here. Make sure you're working with them. They will work with you. All right, they will work with you. Make sure you're doing what you can on your side to get your work turned in. Give them something to grade so we can actually get you, uh, you know, in a position where you're going to be passing classes and doing the best you can. All right, so again, that interim time is coming up. Next Wednesday, uh, goes greater interim grades will be entered at that point in time, and then we'll move forward from that point um, for the uh, rest of the, of the quarter. Understand, um, we're on remote learning for B cohort next week, A's back in. Uh, then the week of Thanksgiving, everybody's on remote learning those first two days, and then you have Thanksgiving break. Then when we come back from Thanksgiving break, uh, we only have three school uh, weeks remaining, two with cohort B and one with cohort A. So. The quarter is going to go very quickly. Stay up to date on it. Stay in your communication mode and make sure we finish strong. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your day today. Make sure you work hard, you learn something, and remember, it's time to soar, Warhawks. Have a great day.